My name is Hunter and I carve animal skulls. For me, skull carving is just uh, an awesome opportunity to take something that was once living and is now dead and to kind of carry on uh, the life of the animal through uh, carving designs, creating art from the remains uh, of the animal, specifically the skull. Just I like skulls, I think they're cool. When I first got the idea to start carving skulls, of course I went online to see what kind of information there was and there was virtually no information whatsoever. So it was a lot of trial and error just figuring out what worked, how to do it. And from the beginning, because there was just no information, I decided I would teach other people as I learn the different things uh, related to skull carving. So I started a YouTube channel I have always been extremely open uh, sharing the information that I'm learning as I go. So I'm always putting out videos, sharing on Instagram and Facebook um, how I do things, not just exactly what I do. I find skull carving very therapeutic and relaxing just the process of taking something extremely natural as a, a piece of bone, a skull, and then putting your own character, putting a lot of time and effort into it, and then in the end creating uh, kind of a masterpiece of your own design is, uh, it's very rewarding uh, to say the least. I don't limit myself specifically just to carving skulls, even though that is my main focus. Uh, if you look through all my videos and my content, that's going to be the prevailing theme of everything. Uh, but I've done a lot of different stuff related to skulls. Um, I've been the first one to take a real skull and then fire it in a kiln and create a real ceramic skull where the bone uh, ash is encapsulated within uh, the pottery. Um, I've done a lot with just kind of random stuff, taking antlers, mounting it to a bowling pin. Uh, as of recently, I've carved a skull, a bison skull, and then made little miniature 3D prints of those. So I really enjoy kind of taking the median of a skull and then just kind of seeing what you can do with it. I come up with a lot of different ideas uh, from just kind of observing things around me. And then I think, hmm, I wonder if I can take that and apply it to a skull and how would that work? So a lot of the stuff I'm doing is just learning. First time doing this for me, possibly even the first time taking something and applying it to skulls and just the whole process, process of creating and then apply it to the skulls uh, is a lot of fun. My hope is to make skull carving my full-time job here in the near future something I absolutely love doing. It doesn't feel like a job, even though it's a lot of hard work, carving skulls, creating content, stuff like that. But absolutely love it, and just hoping I can make a career out of this soon. As I said, I run a YouTube channel where I teach others how to carve skulls. So I highly uh, encourage people to give this a try. I just use a Dremel, it's nothing uh, expensive. I teach in my videos where to even find skulls. Um, how to take designs and then put them onto the skull, what burrs to use, um, how to clean skulls. So I give kind of a comprehensive uh, picture of what to work with, um, where to find your materials, your skulls, and what to carve, and just pretty much everything related to skulls and carving them. My hope is that skull carving will blow up and become just as popular as any other type of carving. Uh, it's so extremely rewarding and being able to take 
a found item such as a skull and then kind of give it new life, create a piece of art out of it. Um, I think that's a really positive thing uh, in the world and just a really great hobby to be into.